alright, alright, alright. So I finally got to see the new submissions and nominations that were entered for Oscar 2020. For the most part, it was to be expected. I was surprised Rocket Man or The Farewell, which got some attention in the Golden Globes, didn't get quite the love as some of the other films. But I was very happy to see Jojo Rabbit and Joker get the best of things. So with that being said, you know, because I'm trying to start off with new things and new beginnings, I decided to do a little bit of a list and show you what type of movies that I would prefer to win, but will likely win at the Oscars come the 9th of February. Two days after that Margot Robbie film, where she plays a crazy sex clown, comes out. So I'm just going to go with the basics here. Hear me on this. You'll definitely love it. Chat on the Twitter feed if you want. Best picture. What will win? 1917. But what I want to win is The Joker or Jojo Rabbit. Those are very good movies. Well, Joker's my number two from last year, so that is what we're given. Best Director. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood will likely win for Quentin Tarantino, but I want Todd Phillips of Joker to win. Original Screenplay. Hollywood will win that one, but Parasite, I think, should get the upper hand on that one. That was actually quite satirical and sharp, even if I didn't quite connect it the same way as some of the other films. And I didn't even put it on any lists. Adapted screenplay, um, I would prefer... I haven't seen Irishman, but uh, I can tell from the layered narrative that goes on. I think that one should win. Uh, that will win. Well, I might take that back. But I want Joker to win, because... Man, I, I could relate to quite a few things from that film. It's, uh, oh, quite cutting edge. Especially cutthroat. Actor, well, because we don't get Adam Sandler from Uncut Gems this time, it's now easy to say that Joaquin Phoenix of the Joker should get it. He will win, and I want him to win. So we both agree on that. Actress... Um, I'm going to lend my support to Cynthia Erivo for Harriet Tubman. I wish she could win, but I don't think that's going to happen. They're going to give it to Renee Zellweger from Bridget Jones. Oh, I love some chocolate. Even though I'm from Texas. She's playing Judy Garland. Somewhere over the rainbow. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Supporting actor. Uh, Brad Pitt will probably win for that Tarantino film. But I really want... It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and if we're in the neighborhood, won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Sounds a little like that Willy Wonka song. Close your eyes, in your imagination. So I'm getting off on a tangent here. I just want to amuse everyone who's watching this video right now, okay? Yeah, I want, you know. Tom Hanks of Toy Story! Ah, boss, look out! Um, but he won't win. It'll be, you know, Brad Pitt, you know, I used to date Angelina Jolie. You know, I'm playing the, you know, I see people follow this on the stunt man, but we'll leave the cap on. I'm doing that. I'm fighting a bunch of hippies with my bare hands and smashing a woman's face in on brick and mortar. <laughs> Smoking acid like cigarettes, you know, man. <laughs> Alright, let's get to even another good one. Uh, supporting actress, uh, Laura Dern, or I call her Lorna Dern sometimes. She'll probably win for Marriage Story, but I want Scarlett Johansson, who's, weirdly enough, nominated two times. Two times! I don't know if you can even do that. Because she's also in Marriage Story as well. But she's nominated for Jojo Rabbit in Supporting Actress, can I? want her to win in Supporting Actress, because she was great in that film. But... Okay, this is the most contentious for me. Well, what I want to win for animation is The Missing Link. That was a great movie. Um, and Toy Story 4 was pretty good too, but... Oscars is broadcast in the United States by ABC. ABC is owned by the Walt Disney Company. So you already know who they're going to pick. Pixar, yet again... But that's not to say Toy Story 4 was a terrible film. It was a great movie. In fact, the best film that they've done alongside Incredibles 2 since Monsters University and then Brave 
and then the third Toy Story film of that of this decade. But I really want to see Missing Link one. If it could have won at the Golden Globes, which it did, which left Chris Butler, the director behind it, flabbergasted, then I'm sure as hell it can win at Oscars. They just have to give stop motion films a chance. They haven't won stop motion animation itself has not won anything since. 2006, I believe, with Wallace and Gromit Curse the Were Rabbit, which was good, but not as good as Chicken Run. But they didn't have an animation category in 2000. They only started having one around 01 when Shrek came out. And that was, I think, was one of the first winners of that prestigious award. <coughs> uh, original score, um, Joker's likely to win that, and I hope it does. Original song. Well, I need to have Rand Newman, who also does the soundtrack to Marriage Story. But you know, man, he's gonna, you know, do a song for I Kill It, you throw yourself away. Like, fuck it, Woody for Bud, you like Toy Story 4, you know. You got a friend? Don't, don't ever sing Randy Newman to me, I'll start tearing up. I don't think that will win. But that Elton John, uh, I will love me again. Or win instead. Tom Negative was pretty good in that film, but you know it's not a film I can relate to because it's about you know an artist that you know I heard at shops and stuff and at Tesco and Asda, but that's about it. Foreign language. Uh, I hope uh, Les Misérables, which is a film that is tied with the recent Gilets Jaunes or Yellow Vest protests that are going on over in France, very socially pertinent. I think Parasite will win. Parasite is like this year's Roma. It's the uh, foreign language film everyone is talking about. The token movie. I know that sounds kind of offensive and un PC to say, but let's face it. Ask us so why? <coughs> Documentary. I'm going to go with Edge of Democracy on this one. I know For Sama is going to uh, appeal to some people mainly because of its uh, Middle Eastern setting and its ties with uh, the issues going on with ISIS and a lot of the terrorist groups over there. I need to do a bit more research on that category. Film editing, uh, Irishman, I want that to win and I think that one will win. I mean, and also visual effects wise, blimey. Uh, try shaping Robert De Niro to look like his old self when he used to be in Taxi Driver. You talking to me? I don't know you talk. You talk to me, but I don't think with uh, visual effects, it will win. It will be nineteen seventeen, but it Irishman win for film editing, cinematography, nineteen seventeen already has that uh, to a T. I even know I want the lighthouse to win. I just saw that recently. I didn't do a review on it, but I just saw that recently. I just thought this is beautifully filmed. Fantastic. I, I regret missing out on that film when it first came out of the cinema. Uh, costume design. Uh, I want Jojo Rabbit to win, but it'll probably be the Irishman, even though you can get those very many clothes at Goodwill for a good price. Or some uh, Christian hospices over in Brighton. And uh, not too far away from Jam Dockyards. Uh, best sound editing, 1917. Mixing, 1917 again. Production design, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood will probably win that, and I would prefer it to win. And makeup and hair, I want Bombshell to get the upper hand. All the other films, it seemed all too easy. I could have said Joker, which is a great movie, but it didn't try quite hard enough. Because they made Charlize Theron look like Megan Kelly to a T. But it'll probably be Judy Garland film that I'll probably win. You know how Hollywood works. It's all campy. Alright, so I've said my piece. It's probably, you know, I've talked a little bit too longer than I need you to, but hey. That's life! I'm going to start dancing in my underwear and put clown makeup and stab some people with scissors. Just like that fucking nun that calls himself Arthur Fleck. Yeah, f Arthur fucking moron. See what I did there? That's a pun. All right, you've heard it. I'm gonna do my review um, of the you know nominations when I watch it on the 9th of February after I go to see the Birds of Prey and all that shit. So there, I said it. Thank you for watching and uh, keep on tuning into my film reviews. Uh, the next one I'll probably be doing for is uh, the Gentleman. I hope to see that very soon or the Sons of Denmark. Stay tuned. This is Skinny, but signing off. <laughs>